All right, yeah, welcome to this class. And in this particular video, we are going to consider how to solve simultaneous equation using substitution method. Substitution method is one of the methods we use to solve simultaneous equation. Simultaneous, you could also use other methods like elimination method, and even advanced methods like determinant method and the rest. But in this class, we are going to limit ourselves to solution to, of simultaneous equation using substitution method. So this is how it works. The first thing you need to do is to take your equations and put up the level your equations. Number one, e plus two k plus seven equation two. In this case you can uh, make any of the variables you suggest that you come around. Let's consider equation one, for instance. If you decide to make Q the subject of the formula in equation one, you will have from equation one, we have Q equals minus 2Q minus one. And call this equation three. If we substitute the value of Q in equation 3 into equation 2, we will have this. Anywhere we see Q in equation 2, we we'll substitute it with the value. So we will have P plus 2 into minus 2Q minus 1 equals 7. Now, it becomes us on us to break or expand the brackets here with p minus 4p minus 2 equals 7. So p minus 4p, they are like them so we can add or subtract them. p minus 4p is a minus 3p minus 2 equals 7. If we collect like them, this becomes minus 3p equals 7 plus 2. So minus 3p equals 9. And p, by dividing both sides by minus 3, we have 9 over minus 3. So which is equal to minus 3. Therefore, p equals minus 3. So get our q here, we substitute the value of p here into equation 3. Substitute the value of p into equation 3. If we do that, then we'll have equals minus 2 into minus 3 minus 1. This becomes 6 minus 1, which is 5. Hence, P equals minus 3 and Q equals At this point, you can even test to know if your answer is correct. So this test is very important so that um, when you are in a, in a situation of exam, you should be able to know whether you are right or not. So if we substitute these values to test for correctness, test uh, we'll make, we can substitute these values, the Q value and the Q value. So, if we are considering the left hand side of the equation, left hand side, we have 2P, and P here is a minus 3 plus Q. Q here is 5. Let's see whether we'll have minus 1. This becomes minus 6 plus 1. That is minus 1. Hence, our solution is correct. 
distribution here is correct. So this is just a simple way you can solve a given problem in simultaneous equation using substitution method. Please, I'd like you to subscribe to my video and drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you.